All right guys, what's happening? It is Tuesday morning, and today we're going to do what I tried to do last week when the batteries died on the phone, or died on the camera. So I'm gonna show you guys what the walker does out here on our mile long. So the first time I came out here and used it, I didn't record, it did really good. Um, last week I noticed it wasn't really picking up leaves that great, so let's see what happens today. Um, I know that it is like the leaf picker-upper, um, but you know, Florida has its own challenge, different ch types of, you know, oak trees that we have more commonly. I know up north in the Midwest, you got the more fluffy leaves. Um, my phone's ringing. But anyways, I just wanna see um, how it does today. We've had no rain, everything's been dry. Um, so, you know, there's no reason why it shouldn't suck them up, okay? So let's see what happens, all right y'all, yeah. <laughs> All right guys, so we're using this Schroeder that was sent out to us. This is the Schroeder 6400L. This is not by any means their top of the line or most powerful blower that they have at all. But I'll tell you what, I do like this blower. I think it's, um, I think it's, got, some, it's got some good power to it. I would not make this like our main fleet of blowers, you know, that we use on our condos. But if I were doing a bunch of homes, I could, and y'all know I'm a Husqvarna freak, but like, I like this blower right here and it's a bunch of cool stuff that comes with it. It comes with an extra wheel, an extra, you know, um, flywheel on here. It comes with an extra coil str and string combo. It comes with a container that allows you to measure the fuel mixture that's the same size as the gas tank, which is really, really neat. Um, the weight of this thing is super, super light um, compared to a lot of other blowers. And I do wish the tube was bigger though. I feel like it's got some power and it's just being restricted by this tube, um, but it does a really good job. And like I said, this is a really good like cleanup blower. This is a blower I'm probably gonna keep with me when I go do little flower jobs or landscape jobs. Um, so this is probably what I'm gonna end up using that for. Um, but yeah, I like this thing.
right, so we got about, I don't know, what do we got about? Probably 40 to 50 feet here by about seven feet wide. Um, Y'all saw how thick that was, so we had to blow all that out. Um, and it created two piles. And how many, how, how much, how many of these piles create? About two bags? Yeah. Two bags each? And um, how big are the bags? 45 gallon bags. 45 gallon bags? All right, so basically this dump, once it says it's full, is about two 45 gallon um, bags. So we back, normally we have the dump truck and we throw it in there, but I'm getting a turbo put on it and the manifold being replaced. So it's gonna run real good after this, buddy. Like that, turbo. Yeah. I'm getting a turbo put on there. Um, so for now, we'll just throw them in the truck and we'll probably swing by and throw them in the dump truck afterward. Um, <clears throat> so this was really thick right here. So like I said, one pile down here and one pile down there and uh we're just going to keep going i have to get um, all that across the street right there so focus buddy so i have to get that all that across the street um that'll probably end up being about three or four piles right um three or four um you know piles right there see i definitely noticed that i have to go on these oak leaves i definitely have to go slower unless they're thick and piled up i definitely have to drive slower um to suck them up so I'm not sure exactly if that's normal. So you guys tell me, leave a comment below. I'm not used to using walkers. Um, I noticed the first time it seemed to work better. Um, this time I'm having to drive slower, um, but I don't know. We'll just see. Y'all let me know if this is normal, if you are supposed to be driving super, super slow like I was. Um, obviously the slower you go, even when you cut, when you do anything, it's better. Um, but I'm just not exactly sure what doesn't work and what does work until I try it. All right.
All right, guys, so I am done using the walker for the day. I think it did really well. I want to start off with a couple of things. So the CCH, this is the 749, 27 horsepower. Well, technically, it's 26 and a half horsepower um, caller engine. One thing I will say is the look of the engine with the exhaust and everything on the Kohler, um, uh, on the uh, Walker, I'll tell you, man, just reminds me of like a jet for some reason. I love it, or like a freaking transformer. This thing looks wise, like the way it's, I mean, it is like, it is, it is tool. Like this thing is just sweet looking the way that it's laid out. I will give it that. It's, it's pretty pimp. So let me throw this back down and uh, let me put the dump back down. So, Let's go over some things I do not like about this. And then we'll go over the things that I do like about it. So what I don't like about the Walker in general, and don't shoot me, is I'm just not into the ergonomics as much as I am with other mowers. So I can't help it. Emergency brake is off. Um, I would rather be on a sit down mower or a stander than using a Walker all day, but there are a lot of guys that just love it. Um, but just that you naturally kind of want to bend forward a little bit with your back. You know what I mean? Um, and I don't know. I just, for me, ergonomically, I do not prefer a walker over anything else. That's just, that's just how I feel about it. Um, I do love though that it is, uh, preferably I would do a single, um, hand operation with this thing. I would not use two hands up there. Um, I would definitely single hand, um, operate this machine and always having your hand um, right there just in case you need an emergency stop. It's really easy to buck you around if you're not used to this mower. The shaft driven blades, nothing is going to beat that ever. Like that's the, I think, I think one of the strongest things on this is that. So, but anyways, let's go over the things I don't like. Sorry about that. So when the chute gets clogged up, it is a pain in the butt. You don't really have clearance to lift the deck up um, to get up underneath there and clean it. Um, I mean, if you guys aren't familiar with walkers here, let me show you. So you would, there's a latch right there that opens, um, this opens up and this catches into it. You can, uh, you got to release those two pins right there with the red handle. Um, you got to release those, this lifts up and then right there where that plastic container is, um, that chute will get uh, clogged up that goes right there. Um, and it'll get clogged up and you have to kind of reach up underneath there and clean it from the bottom. Which, you know, it's going to be something with everything. I mean, that's not really, it's like, hey, what else do you want us to do? I don't know. I figure they got really good engineers. I'm sure if they could have come up with something else, they would have done it. But whether you can change it, fix it or not, I don't like that part. Um, you have to climb underneath you know, the mower or just kind of lean down into the, onto the ground to get that cleaned out when it gets clogged up. It does not get clogged up that much, though. That is good. I mean, you got to take into consideration what it's for, what it does, how you have to design it and all that. So I'm not nitpicking anything because I can nitpick everything. We all can. I got to say my other main gripe with this is the fuel gauge. And yes, I am going to make a big deal out of the fuel gauge. The fuel gauge is right here. You, you know, so you have to lift this up to see the fuel gauge and no, I tried like really reading it because it gets really dirty and dusty whenever you're whenever you're mowing and everything. Um, so I, I literally tried as hard as I could to see it from the side right here. It was just really hard to see it. So let's go over the things that I do like about this. I love the cut quality. I'm gonna say that there's just, well, first of all, made in America, baby. Made in America, made in America. How can you not like that? Made in America, baby. Um, but the cut quality on this thing, I'm gonna say probably unsurpassed. I think a walker mower, absolutely makes the best cutting deck I've ever seen. And there's a lot of mowers that are good seconds to it, uh, but I will have to give Walker, they make the nicest cutting deck I've ever seen. I love the fact that you can interchange the stuff. You can put all kinds of attachments on it. You can go up to like, I think what, a 72 inch deck or 74 or whatever. You can change all these decks out. I don't know if you can even go bigger than that. Y'all leave me a comment and let me know below. But you can detach, you can buy one. It's like the Gravely system they have where you can, I mean, I know the Walker was here first, um, but I'm just saying how the Gravely system, you can, um, you know, add all kinds of attachments, a brush hog to it, a mower to it, a snow blower to it, all that. You could pretty much do the same thing with a walker. Um, so I love the fact that you can switch out, except this, you can switch out different size decks. 
So I love the fact that you can do that. I think that that is one of the strongest things about this mower. I remember I had one for a couple of weeks when I bought out this small company. I didn't like it, so I got rid of it. A friend of mine drooled over it and wanted it and he took it. Um, but now I see why he loves it. Um, so just this is just for me guys on the properties that we use and my guys and myself, my, my opinion, but I love the deck system, what you can do with it. That's amazing. Um, I love the bagging system. I think it's awesome. Um, I do wish that, um, how you have, so this will, I call it the patish. So this will down, right? I wish that this did that. You know what I'm saying? So I wish that that did it as well. And um because you know that thing can come down slamming pretty hard so i wish that that did it as well um oh another thing i don't like sorry so when employees using this this right here is just a catastrophe and a nightmare they forget you can forget very easily how much space is back here when you're turning around and you can break some stuff i don't think that this is for the everyday company with a bunch of employees i think this is for a solo operator or guys that have key crew leaders that are doing the mowing you know guys that are meticulous about their machines but an everyday guy that's just jumping on and just throwing anybody on a mower there's no way i would give them this fifteen thousand dollar piece of equipment because it would totally become destroyed but anyways the kohler engine on this thing is phenomenal the deck options are ridiculous the cut quality is off the chain um, it definitely holds enough fuel um, considering the type of engine it has in it and um, that's it. I mean, the, you know, I love the drive shaft, the shaft driven blades. That's just ridiculous. That's ridiculous, y'all. And it's a, it's a really, it's a really beautiful mower. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. I want to thank the reps from Walker um, for bringing this out here. Again, I always stress it to you guys. If you want a demo and your dealer is not able to get you one for whatever reason or just cannot or refuses to get you one, um, sometimes it's both. Sometimes they just don't want to let you demo and sometimes they just literally do not have the demo. Always ask for a dealer rep. Who is the dealer rep for that brand? And contact that rep and I guarantee you, I promise you, I'm telling you, can I promise? Yeah, I'm telling you, they will find a way to bring you a demo. They will leave it with you either for a couple hours, they will leave it with you for a week. I, you know, I don't know how all that works, but I promise you, find a dealer rep for whatever mower that you want and they will bring you a demo. So again, thank you guys for bringing this out here. Um, I do not think that this is a mower for us as far as every day, all day. Um, we do not bag. So that right there is why I could not have this particular one. I know they have mulching kits or mulching decks <coughs> um, for these. You don't have to have the bagger. Um, or you can have both or, or whatever. I'm, you know, you can swap it all out. It's awesome. But primarily, I think the cut quality is amazing on this. But ergonomics, I couldn't sit on this all day and do our properties, the type of properties that we do. But would I own one of these? We have a leaf vac system and we have a dump truck. Do I like this better than the leaf vac system, the Skag leaf vac system we have all day long? I would buy this just to do leaf cleanups on properties like this. But again, my Skag leaf debris loader has its place. There are places you can't use this, that I would need that in big parking lots with no grass. Even though this thing did do a street sweeper style that you saw, you could go along the edge slow on the road and it would suck it up and bag it. Uh, but anyways, we could go on and on and on. Overall, I mean, you give this the highest rating. It is a fine craft piece of equipment. It's just not for me personally, but it's for like tons of other people. Uh, but anyways, all right, y'all, I gotta go. Just mow, bro.